Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Hester. Welcome back to Star Wars Imp Oh I've been playing that way too much. I need to oh, I should have started recording other things a while ago. Anyway, so welcome back to uh Space Engineers in between the multiplayer episodes. I know it's been a while. Yeah I know you see other YouTubers all um playing with each other, well, not in that way, get your minds out of the gutter, um, but playing with each other in the games, and uh, basically, um, like, I know Sage and Last Stand play together on a regular basis, but it's kind of hard when there's a time zone difference, I know they manage it, but with my schedule and Sekir's and uh, Caesar slash Hood, he keeps changing his name, we just call him Sarge, but trying to get all three at once and then have enough time to actually record. And also, I think overall the feeling is Space Engineers is kind of dipping down. I know I have almost 2,100 hours, and there have been times where it's like, I really don't want to play it. I played it already, and I mean, I still love it. I mean, I'm waiting. For, oh, I can't wait for Planets. I can't wait for an economy, but eh, that's just because I'm a finance major. Otherwise, uh, here's the progress update. Titanic, still unfinished. I think I might scrap it. I mean, granted, eh, I'll leave it. Otherwise, here's the acclimator. I know it doesn't look like much, but me personally, I don't have as much time to work on it, but here's what I got so far. And granted, if I could get the time... Actually, you know what? I'm going to set up a schedule. I have next week off from work, and that takes up 30 to 32 hours of my week. Granted, I still have school and homework, but for you guys, I'm going to finish this ring that you see here. Basically, the uh, acclimator, if you've ever seen that profile where you have the sides, that is what I'm building first. I think you know what? I'm going to build the sides by next Friday. That sounds fair. Show of hands. Is that fair? I don't see any hands, so I guess I'm not doing it. <laughs> okay, but otherwise, um, basically, as you can see, it... This thing is massive. I'm building it... Oh, excuse me. I'm building it one-to-one, -one and that just broke my immersion. Gain, I found a bug! Graphical bug, anyway. But otherwise, as you can see, this thing is massive. <laughs> That's what she said. But I know I say I build in one to one, but I don't do that for everything. I mean, I still get requests to build a Death Star, but I'm not building full scale. Unless they change the code so dramatically that would allow that. That, and you can see the whole thing when it's done, if you fly a couple thou hundred thousand me uh, kilometers away. I'm building, um, the highest I'm going to build is a kilometer long. I mean, my computer can handle it, although, if I do multiplayer with new people, uh, uh, that could pose some problems. But, otherwise, the limit is a, th uh, a thousand meters, or a kilometer, whichever way you want to look at it. So, and the acclimator is 752 meters, I believe. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I know it's been a while since I looked at the statistics. But this thing, it's just big. Granted, it only took me about 30 minutes to put this side out, but again, just placing the blocks is probably the hardest part. So if I get these down, someone can come in with the welding ship. Heck, you could even uh, help with the framing. I mean, really, once you have the bottom uh, thing placed down, and then you can build it up easy. All you have to do is follow the bottom. Otherwise, what else? Uh, I forget. Did I show you my processing center? Even though I still need to build a mining ship. Also, you're probably wondering, why am I not using the new uh, Direct uh, X or something, the 11? 
My monitor, even though it's a 27 inch monitor, it's not a high definition one, so I can't use it. Otherwise it defaults to my small monitor, which is right here where I'm watching the recording and all the other statistics to make sure everything is operating as it should. But, and I don't like using small monitors, so mm, it is what it is. Plus, uh, whenever you watch the video, if you have a big monitor like me and you want to watch it in high definition without stretching the video, I do plan to upgrade. I just need to save money because college is expensive. Go to school, kids. Anyway, otherwise, scrap ship still here. I've been processing. Oh, yeah, I captured. I thought it was getting further from me. I didn't stop fully. Otherwise, I'm still capturing ships and eating them, essentially. Basically taking the grinding ship, because right now, until that thing is fully operational, this is the fastest way for me to get materials. I need to look for the video on this stuff, though. I know I recorded a, a large chunk a while back, and I still haven't explained how we managed to get a pre-built station and a pre-built heavy I'm gonna call you a heavy cruiser or a, or just a plain cruiser I don't know I like the word I like the term heavy cruiser I don't know why but it sounds almost as powerful as a battleship but I prefer a dreadnought anyway so that's just catching you guys up right now the primary focus is the hull not the power systems not the weapons right now I just want to get the hull built and then uh, work on the uh, subsystems once we actually build something to put the systems in otherwise the things on the oh what do you call it on my steam workshop these are from months ago I think October is the is pretty much the average back when I had more time for space engineers but I, don't worry, I'm still dedicated to this. It's just getting getting other people. <laughs> I know Secure's playing uh, ARK, some, uh, some dinosaur game, and I started to get into it. I mean, we I need to ask, but I think he'll, he'll probably say yes if we recorded it for you guys, because <laughs> hearing Secure scream when dinosaurs are chasing him down going... <laughs> me in his typical uh, screaming voice mm, mm, it's worth it mm. but I digress otherwise progress is still moving forward on this very slowly I will admit that but again time uh, getting people and all that I I want to go back to this. I love this series. I mean, oh, it's it's hilarious, even, and, and it's fun. But until then, oh, you're watching this video. And I know that's not as funny as watching us idiots play, but I'm still working on it. Maybe even I'll get a few of you guys, because I want to try that out to play with us, or me. If you know what I mean. And I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But otherwise, the main focus is on what's on my workshop and uh, other ideas. I'm still dedicated to building this in survival. Come on, it's me. I like being outrageous. Still mighty impressive, but I digress once again, as, I, as is the common theme. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, and thank you for uh, uh, sticking with us, even though we haven't really recorded in, I think, two months now, unfortunately. But I'll, with me being off next week, we should be able to record um, a lot next week. So I plan to get a lot of this pre-built, and so you guys can see that. If you have a decent computer and you want to build this with us, or I don't know what you guys do. I don't know what kids these days do. Otherwise, until then, yeah, I'm going to nag them until they do this. Say, hey, the people want to know, where are you? But 
I digress again. Sorry, I'm. So I just got off work and I need. Uh, I wanted to give you guys an update because I've been posting a lot of space engineers and you're like, where's the acclimator? Still work in progress. Still. Still pretty cool though. I have to admit. I'm still keeping the shipyard just in case you guys want me to build some other uh, real world ship. I don't know what. I still haven't even finished the Titanic because you guys are clamoring over the acclimator, but let's not get ranting yet. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. And hopefully, uh, well, I shouldn't hope for another multiplayer. I'm going to upload one, one way or another. So thank you for sticking with me, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.